uh, we are announcing we have an agreement that we intend to send to city council in the next week uh, and that agreement has basically six points number one the windows at the Michigan Central Depot all 1,050 of them above the first floor will all be in place by December 31st of this year. That train station will be completely sealed in on the exterior side. The international images that have been shown on Detroit of a train station with the wind blowing through will be a thing of the past. I won't tell you that will get us all the way home, uh, but I do believe this, that if you start by securing the, the exterior, you start by letting people see it be attractive with what's happening in Corktown now, with what's happening in southwest Detroit now, it'll get us another significant step closer to the day when we see the full redevelopment. The Maroon family in this agreement has committed to do that. Second, the uh, bridge company needs the three acres right along that bridge there to create uh, the second span. And so in this area, this is the area along there that they need for the second span. I said, I'm not willing to sell land that's going to diminish Riverside Park. And so what we've agreed to is a land swap. The Maroons own nearly five acres of waterfront property right here. And so what we're going to do is swap the three acres along the bridge, which in my mind is the least desirable part of the park, for nearly five acres over there. And when the tenants, right, five acres of waterfront property, and when the tenancy on that building runs out in July of 18, they will demolish that warehouse, and we will go five acres over. Then we've got another piece. The city of Detroit owns now a 3.4 acre parcel of land, right over there that's never been a part of the park. The third piece is the city will permanently commit that 3.4 acres to be a part of Riverside Park. So at the end of the day, right, we go from a 20 acre park to a 25 acre park. And here's the next piece. The area that we're gonna sell along the bridge or that we're gonna trade we keep the riverfront footage in a right-of-way so that the public will get a hundred foot right-of-way all the way along the waterfront. We keep access to the waterfront property even in the area that we're transferring. That's good. We've gone from a 20-acre park to a 25-acre park, but if I look at this park, we don't have the resources to improve it. We need a new soccer field. We need a new baseball field. We need better picnic areas. We need to upgrade this. And so, the next piece is that the Maroons will pay immediately $3 million for the improvement of Riverside Park. We will right. be able to start right. this fall with the construction of a new baseball field, a new soccer field, a beautiful picnic fishing area across here. We're going to start that work this fall. We are going to start to build this park into the kind of park the whole city will be proud of. Now, there is a lot of conversation in this community about trust. Can you trust people? This agreement is a huge uh, commitment to trust, and it's a commitment of trust on the part of Maroons to city government. Because the deal that we've made is this. They put the windows in the train station right now by the end of the year. They deed us this five acres of land right now they give us the three million dollar check so we can start improving the park right now they're going to need to get state approval on the transfer of the three acres because it was originally bought uh with money for parks and so anytime you want to swap parkland you've got to show the state dnr that what we're getting is better than what we're giving away I believe the five acres of waterfront property and $3 million to redevelop is a fair swap. But here's the thing. The, the Maroons are transferring the money and the property to us, and they're taking the chance that they're going to get state DNR approval. And I've committed that we are going to be fully supportive of them in that process, and that I will be fully supportive of them in their efforts 
to get the second span. So uh, uh, this is a, a, an unusual deal for Detroit. We get everything that we ask for up front, and the developer is trusting us to back them at the end. That's if, all right. That's all right. That's all right. And then the final piece to the deal is this. If, in fact, they do ultimately get federal, Canadian environmental approvals and build that second span, then whatever day that may be, I don't know if it's two years from now or 20 years from now, whenever that is, they put another $2 million into the development of this park.